Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name, we worship you. Take all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist. Sarah, you are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe, tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. To this new prophet, hear me very well. I sat down here. The Lord says, speak to this new prophet. I don't know who you are, but hear me very well. Hear me very well. I want you to be encouraged in the Lord. Be encouraged in the Lord. To all the new prophets, under the sound of my voice that are hearing me right now, you must stay strong because the power that kills the new prophet, the powers that silence the new prophet, the powers are out. They go after the new prophet. There are powers that kill new prophets. These are the power that comes to attack the prophets after they have prayed, after they have delivered somebody, after they have given somebody hope, after they have raised somebody from the dead, after they have given someone life. And you might be asking yourself, I am a prophet, but I am not, I don't have a ministry, a physical ministry where people gather. Child of God, hear me very well. This concerns you as well. The Lord made you a prophet and you are in your home praying for people. You must listen carefully. And now you find yourself trying to give up because of the attack that you are receiving. To the young prophet, listen carefully. Be very much alert, knowing that the devil is after the young prophet. So you must resist. You must resist. You must resist. Hallelujah. The powers that come after the young prophet are the power that waits for them after they have prayed for others. They bring different things into their life that will make men to question them. You prophesy to others. Where is your own prophecy? The powers that kill the young prophet are those that divide Christians so that they will start fighting themselves instead of fighting the devil. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 29, it says, do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouth. Don't tell yourself you cannot do it anymore. You are tired. He said, do not let these things come out from your mouth. Do you know why? Because the power that kills the young prophet, they will use it against you. But only what is helpful, helpful for building others up according to their needs. Something that is helpful. Something that can build the body of Christ. Something that can encourage the household of God. Instead of something that will divide the church, speak something that will unite the church. We are the church of God. We are the church of God. Child of God, be very careful. Because when I give this message, all I hear is that there are powers that are after the young prophets now. They are working to destroy the young prophet. Instead of the young prophet to start fighting the devil, they find themselves fighting against themselves. And many of them are giving up. There are some that don't want to pray anymore. Why? Because they felt that they are not where they are supposed to be. They felt so little. They are like, I am so little now. I am just a little woman, a little man of God. Why should I show up? There are a lot of intimidation. There are a lot of this. There are a lot of that. The Bible says, the God, God said, I should tell you, the powers that kill the young prophet are after you. That is why you no longer find the need to pray. Because you felt that you are not large enough to pray. You felt that they are intimidating you. You felt that there are spiritual intimidation around. No one is intimidating you. The only one that can stop you is you. And don't give in to these things that kills the young prophet. It is time for you to raise the alarm and stand up and said, I will not allow my prophetic dream to die. Hallelujah. You must build yourself up. You must build yourself up. The Bible says in the book of 1 Peter chapter 2, when you go to from verse 4, the Bible says, as you come to him, the living stone rejected by humans, but chosen by God and precious to him. You so also like a living stone. You are also like a living stone. 
that have been built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifice, acceptable to God. Remember that the sacrifice you are offering, it is a sacrifice that you are offering to God. The time that you are using to pray, the time that you are using to prophesy, the time that you are using to get messages from God, it is a, a time that you are using to give God a sacrifice, a sacrifice of honor, and God is accepting it. If the Lord accepts your sacrifice, it is enough. Don't allow the pressure of this world killed your prophetic journey. Everything is not done under pressure. Don't allow the pressure of this world kill this young prophet. You yourself, you must hold them. You must hold them in prayer. The Bible says, I've commanded you the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 9. Say, have I not commanded you? Say, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be intimidated. He said, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go in this journey. The powers that kill the young prophet, it is making them to feel as if they are not worthy to do the word of God anymore. I pray for you. I pray for you. Your prophetic ministry will not die. Where the Lord planted you, you will excel. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus loves you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.